Hello and welcome to Galaxy Installation with Ansible. My name is Helena Rasha. I work for two institutes in the Netherlands, the Avance Hochschool in Breda, as well as Erasmus Medical Center in Rotterdam. And I'll be guiding you through all of this today. So these are the questions we'll be answering. How does it all connect? What steps do we need to go through to get all the Galaxy set up with Ansible? We'll start by doing this slide deck. This gives us a high level overview of how all the different bits of Galaxy connect together to make up a full Galaxy server. We'll start with PostgreSQL. We'll use the Postgres database and it'll be set up on the server. This is the foundation of everything. Everything will connect to Postgres. Next, we'll set up Galaxy and we'll attach storage. So Galaxy will attach to Postgres. We'll have Galaxy running through something called UWSGI, which we'll learn about more later. And we'll have storage attached to Galaxy and some compute attached to Galaxy and the storage as well. Once that's all set up, we'll attach Nginx, a web server, to talk to Galaxy and proxy all of our content for us. After that, we'll set up the job handlers. The job handlers will talk to the Galaxy app. They will collect jobs that need to be executed, and they will run them on the compute nodes. Once we've got all that working, we'll configure Slurm in another tutorial. This will be a more performant way to run jobs in Galaxy. After that, CVMFS. CVMFS is a distributed file system that holds a lot of reference data. And we can easily attach this to our storage, attach this to Galaxy, and give Galaxy a lot of reference data knowledge that the Galaxy community has collected. After that, we'll set up remote compute. So whenever we need to scale our Galaxy between beyond all of the infrastructure we currently have, we'll send jobs out to Pulsar. And these can be running anywhere in the world. There are some major initial decisions you will face as a Galaxy administrator, though. Where to install Galaxy? Do you have virtual machines available? Do you have hardware you want to use? Where to store the Galaxy data sets? This is usually, it needs to be a large file server, depending on your use case. And where to store the database? The database server needs to be very reliable and very well backed up. So where to install Galaxy? Galaxy needs to also be shared across your compute nodes. So if you're on a single node Galaxy, like we'll be setting up at the start of this, um, start of this workshop, then all of the data can just be on the Galaxy server and you don't have to worry about it. But once you start to expand to Galaxy running across multiple machines, maybe with a cluster, you'll start to have to worry about where all of your data is. And Galaxy, the actual code base itself, will need to be available from the same location on your head node and all of your compute nodes. We'll cover this more in detail in the lesson. We also need to worry about where to store the Galaxy data sets. So do you have a network attached storage available somewhere? All of these are future scalability questions you'll want to consider. How many users do you have? How much data do you expect them to generate? That sort of thing. For the database location, the database server should be hosted on a very reliable, fast storage. You should, it doesn't need so much disk space, but do concern yourself with the future scalability of the database. There are some basic best practices as well. Running Galaxy is an unprivileged user, separating the code that runs Galaxy from your data sets, from your configuration, and making sure that the code and configuration cannot be overwritten or edited by the Galaxy user if something bad happens. So all of these best practices are automatically included through the tutorials we'll be doing today. But if you set up Galaxy using any other method, you'll need to worry about these. So, Key points that you should take home from this slide deck is that everything we can do, everything we want to do, we can do with Ansible. The Ansible role will do everything for us. And you can easily deploy Galaxy, as we'll see by the end of this. Thank you.